Memorial outside Angel Stadium continues to grow as the baseball community comes to grips with the death of pitcher Tyler Skaggs. After canceling last night's game, the Angels will return to the field at Globe Life Park. Our Bill Jones joins us live there now. And Bill, the Angels organization just wrapped up a news conference. What did they have to say today? Well, one of the big things they talked about was Tyler Skaggs, the person, how he brought joy to everyone that he came across, it, it seemed like. And, you know, Angels players, it's been such a difficult last 24 hours for them, but uh, many of them started arriving here at the ballpark around 2.30, 3 o'clock this afternoon. A few Angels players were out on the field for an early workout around 4 o'clock. They've come to work with a heavy heart today. Players in attendance at the press conference that just wrapped up, where we heard from manager Brad Osmus, GM Billy Epler. Owner Artie Moreno, everyone doing what they can to honor the memory of number 45 Tyler Skaggs, who is one of the most popular players on the team. The team all got together uh, a couple times, um, and uh, some of the guys spoke. But I think most importantly, in the end, we were able to talk about Tyler and laugh about some of the stories and some of the goofy things he did. Listen to some of his music. So it was good. Clearly, a very emotional Brad Osmus, and that uh, sums up the feelings of this entire Angels organization. As far as playing the game tonight, uh, they felt like uh, they talked to the players about it, and they felt like this is what Tyler would want them to do. And the game kind of serves as a, a refuge for the players. As Brad Osmus put it, it would do them no good to sit in their hotel room for another night. Uh, we'll have much more coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, Bill Jones, CBS 11 Sports.